Hey pilots, welcome back to the Simpit Academy. So today we look at all the special levers, five of them. I will do them in the order of difficulty. This number one, number two, these two are the same, just pull and push. That's the easiest. And then this one will have a combination of push, pull, and turn. This one will be spring-loaded, the rudder panel. And then this is the most complicated one, the, the pull, spring-loaded pull, and also um, rotation. So by far, these special levers are the most challenging and I suppose my greatest achievement so far even more challenging than the other things that I will be showing later all the caution lights the heart control the UFC so figuring out this have been the most tricky and I had to make it simple, all right? Just like Apple trying to simplify things. The result will look simple, but the process is actually difficult to figure out a simple solution. So let's get started. So the first one, emergency brake. We have a shape and then have a circle and have another one here so you park it you always pet and then park it or you can draw both together all right then the same shape exactly the same size you this time you draw all these lines and you trim okay then you pet you'll get this so for those who are looking at this for the first time all these uh, stripes i have already shown in several other videos how to do this do it one at a time slowly and you trim you'll be able to get this and then lastly add some text and and pad all right so the text and the stripes you hot glue onto this you get this and then this you just screw onto this push pull and then one positive one negative and you're done all right and some of you might wonder why don't i just build this and then put the text on top so the thing about 3d printing is if you print from this bottom up there'll be a lot of space and you'll be support Okay, if you do the other way around, you build this first, but then you have like the hollow text, you know, this, they will also build support. But the result is that this part here will actually, if it's not at the very top, it's starting from the bottom up, the, the stripe surface and the text here, they will look um, ugly. Okay, that's the way, the best way I can put it. So experiment with it. If you have better results, by all means, you can just print from here up together in one piece. I've done it enough knowing that um, this way it won't be good. So I separate, I print this from the bottom up and then I stick it onto this. So you, you can't really tell anyway when you glue it in the same dimensions. Okay, so the code for this one is straightforward. Some of them are more tricky. So we'll talk about this one first. So just a push pull, okay, one pin. So let's um, take a look at it.
Okay, next we move on to this emergency vent handle. Very similar to the first one. You have this base and you pad, then you draw all these shapes. And pad. So add text. Then we have another piece here again with uh, stripes. So this one you can just draw a, an arc and then make this shape. And that's it. Okay very similar to the first one. For those who don't want to bother or find it too difficult to make this, you can actually just paint everything one big chunk of yellow and then you can use like a black marker and draw lines, you know, with a ruler and um, I think that's possible too. Okay, I also added this Thing not here to cover this okay to make it look nicer so this one is um, just one pin like the emergency brake so simple push pull uh, switch all right so let's take a look So a comment about this vent, emergency vent handle. You saw that I physically rotated as I pull and push the handle. In reality, that wasn't needed. I was just trying to mimic the movement in DCS. As you can see here, the code is just one pin for pulling and pushing in and out there is there isn't a second one for rotation like the jfs or this landing gear so you actually can just pull and push your physical switch and dcs will have the additional movement of the rotation in the game until they give us a second pin for rotation your physical action is just to pull and to push all right just uh, to make it clear okay now emergency landing gear as usual, have a shape as a base, pad it, build a shaft, this time a D-shape, these are the dimensions. This D-shape will be holding on to the rotary switch, okay, with the shape like this matching the shaft shape there is um is a is a good fit then if you have a screw or whatever you will lock everything in so once again we do the stripes pad it add text okay so this is similar to the um, jettison panel where we have a push button and a rotary switch okay so the switch is here and this time instead of using the uh, pushing down on the push button 
this holds the rotary switch this holds the other one where we have the push pull switch here okay the most important part is actually the two screws okay one is not enough one will help with the push the other one at the top will help hold this um this little protruding part shaft with the pull so without one or the other is not going to work so you need to find a screw that will fit this and then put it uh have the hole enough big enough for this to go through but not too loose and then have two screws to secure this and then you'll push and pull and then this one will do the rotation all right so this is bios code the standard um two position two position switch wasn't acting the way i want sometimes it will be out of sync so i tried switching to this action button and then this one for the normally for a rotary switch you need a multi-position but this is just left right so here we can use a two position so which means that you only need to wire the second leg of the rotary switch okay so normally you have like first leg second leg and you just wire the second one the first one you leave it alone the special thing about this is that to pull this has to be vertical all right then you cannot push it back in the, if you physically push it back in the game it will not do anything you have to rotate 45 degrees to the right then you push it in then you rotate it back so after you push it in it's rotated like this and you cannot pull again you have to rotate it back uh counterclockwise in order to pull again okay so physically you have to do the same sequence as in the game or else your switch is going to be out of sync okay as we will see in the demo so next we look at this rudder pedal handle so have this circle have a shaft fillet again have a d-shaped hole and pocket it then at the side we need another hole to have a screw to hold the shaft in um, the the other shaft in place then we make this this one is very simple just a text then you stick it onto here so next we need a bracket so this is the end result okay have this shape and have two legs padded then have holes you will understand what's going on later so have a center hole and then the two ends pad this and then have holes this will help you secure this to the main panel then now we have a stopper okay what i mean by stopper we have this rectangle 
and then you have this shaft and then you see this this is like the reversed D shape right normally it's a hole this one you make it the other way around then you have this U shape thing have holes for the screws then this is how everything comes together all right your text put on it and then this will go through here and then you need a spring with this um, micro switch all right so the two screws will hold this to this uh, plate here then what happens is when you pull this okay it will this stopper will push against the spring which will then force this thing this switch is sitting here right the whole switch will get pushed and its top here okay will collapse then when you let go it goes back okay so i have since uh switched this set screw to a normal screw but you need the type where um it doesn't have like a mushroom head it's the the top is the flat type and then you countersunk um it a bit to help it go in all the way because this has to be smooth it cannot stop here it has to the screw has to be able to go in all the way and you want to if you have a nut here like this you make sure you enlarge it make it big enough so that this thing can go in and out plus the the screw the whole thing can move in and out um without problem okay so rudder pedal handle just one pin basically is the um, open and close over here all right so let's take a look all right lastly we look at the jfs handle once again a base pad have a shaft d shape then the hole again and then this the text and we're gonna paste it on the main knob then we have this rectangle with two legs this is similar to previous ones we have built before okay hold the rotary switch the locking hole now this time is special the bottom is not the hole to do the pull push pull or just push down against a push button this one is to let another shaft come out and then we lock it okay we lock it with a hole a screw here you will see soon so this is how everything comes together all right the text on this knob then we put this the rotary switch inside to rotate this knob then this one like the rudder pedal we put it through okay and the spring and this micro switch and you have another screw here to hold it in place to let you pull and then this one that you turn okay this is by far the most complex right now it looks simple but um took me a while to think of a solution and this is harder than all the other stuff that i had to figure out so i'm pretty proud of this solution um simple enough a pull and a turn
So you have to experiment with the position of the switch um, and then hard glue it. Then the sides you need the screws as usual. So we also need a simple panel with a shape like this. Okay, the J JFS panel. Here we need um a recess for a toggle, right? Blocking hole and the bottom recess for the toggle here, and then some text. This is actually our JFS, right? Simple, and you put it together, it looks like this. Then this is optional, this is just to look cool, have this shape. I to figure out the dimensions uh, as close as possible by guesstimation. So optional stripes. So the end result it looks like this. Yellow somehow looks good with the white text and the black panel. And then this are uh, to mimic um, circuit breakers but it's just push buttons so have a bunch push all these um, push buttons are very cheap you buy a pack of five dollars for I don't know 20 30 switches so just put them here and now this whole thing looks complete okay with this being the most complicated and you will see here i don't use set screws all these pull knobs um they need to they need to hold on to um the shaft that they are pulling very securely so i found out that set screws are not strong enough so i use a normal screw you might even need to drill all the way through to make the screw not just you know catch this part here but go through all the way the handle and you'll be very secure all right but obviously there is need to be enough space for the screw so the gfs we have three inputs right the toggle switch the pull like the rudder pedal here and then the rotate okay for this one you have to rotate 45 degrees clockwise uh, sorry not this one this is to pull push and pull this one turns 45 degrees clockwise this one it only turns 45 degrees counterclockwise okay you can either just pull to make it work or you can turn and then you can pull too so you cannot turn any more than that or cannot turn this way and it's a pull spring loaded pull and not a push pull kind of pull all right let's 